Apparently I didn't drink enough Mountain Ops before this course because this Mountain Ops course is kicking my ass. <laughs> Is it 40 on the Nars? Just standing there. I'm standing for another moment. Ooh, nice shot. That's yeah. money, that one, isn't it? A little bit right. Is it? I think it jumped the string though, so it's good. Yep. I pulled uh, a slick trick out of my first bear. Yeah washed it, put it back in my quiver, shot a mule deer on a spot stock, washed it, put it back in my quiver, and killed my second bear with it. Didn't even change the blade? Didn't even change it. Seriously? Seriously. Boom. Flanked out. <laughs> nice shot. I'm currently doing the mountain ops course in the loafers. Thomas is wearing running shoes. Uh, A6 gel uh, cumulus. Nailed it! Fling town. Yeah, that's, that's a dead, dead dog. These guys literally cannot even keep up to me in my loafers. Always waiting. Boy, this one's down there. <laughs> This one's tough because you got an aim so far low. There it is. Now the girl's on fire. That's fancy cheating crackers, is what it is. That's a sharp tree tree. Yeah, no, it is. It's a blast, this thing. Like, <clears throat> yesterday was fun. Mm -hmm. Today is way more fun already. I was a little well, nervous. because we're here too. Yeah, it's different without a doubt when you get to hang out with guys that you know, right? Like, they and I shot the Oilmans uh, this summer, at the start of June. And it was a really good shoot, it was a lot of fun. The technical shot, the technical aspect though, is not nearly the same as this. <clears throat> it's pretty much a just a circuit, an, an oval. You just go around and shoot off the, the track. This is, you get the aspect of hiking, you gotta do some elevation gain, some descent, and the shot difficulty here uh, ranges from 30 yards to 71 so far, right? So far, yeah. So we haven't even hit some of the long ones yet, but you got steep incline, steep decline. You're shooting in the shadows, shooting in the sun, side hills. <clears throat> it's far more technical shoot. A lot of fun, without a doubt. It's uh, very realistic. It's probably one of the funnest shoots I've ever been to, without a doubt. Check out his podcast, Full Send. Full Send, boys. Every time.
just finished the mountain ops course. Well, Jeff just finished the mountain ops course. Me and Thomas just take along for the ride. If I knew I was gonna be doing something like that, I probably would have packed something other than loafers, but we're at the bottom. My feet are killing me. We're not at the bottom yet. We're, we're not at the bottom now. We still got a long ways to go. Yeah, well, we're day three of the total archery challenge. Just walking up to the base of the hill now. Today we are going to do the Sitka course. I'll be doing it again in loafers. And ASICs. And ASICs. We did not plan well. <laughs> I mean, you got the production crew with you today, brother. It's to the right of it, isn't it? to the right. You just smoked him. Yeah, he's not going far. Shit, that one on that sheep's terrible. What's the one on the sheep? 44. Uh, 40, yeah. Good line, but low. Yeah, you're left and right. We're My daughter won't get a secondary education, but you know what? We know uh, we have good cameras. If it means more to you, I just got to bind a harness, so thank you. Appreciate that. Oh! <laughs> that might be close. You're like a half an inch. Oh. Goddamn single pants. <laughs> <laughs> On the hill, we're going to do the sit to course. Just got off the gondola, now we're taking a side Play by side right up to the top. Shoot for points on here because no. it's a ridiculous shot. Like the 12 ring's not even near a heart. No. So. so, like anything that's quartering away, if you shoot for that, you're too far ahead. Yeah. Right? Anything quartering to you is too far back. A little too far back. Tree right behind it. <sighs> this is the little Reinhardt elk, isn't it? God damn it. Oh my god. Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Super fat. <laughs> <laughs> like just now or right now? <laughs> Here, hold on. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Thanks, dude. Deadly. Nah, talk him into it. He talked me into it. Hey, Turns out someone brought worse footwear than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just got some strings and yokes on my bow last These week. These are what so I, I like to call the brand new uh, Justin hikers. Wanna, <laughs> you want to come out here now bar. after. I was glad I almost I almost booked rooms in Salt Lake City 
and I didn't think it was that far. And then when we drove out the first time, I'm like, you guys I'm good. like, oh, I'm glad we went Park City. Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't do my homework either. Like we got in Salt Lake City here, but I didn't realize you could stay right on the resort. Well, I thought we were when I booked that Airbnb. Yeah. I just looked on the map and I seen a ski hill right behind it, and I was like, oh, sweet, we're right at it. Well, and then, the, what I read was, I, well, I put the address in, and it was five minutes away. So I'm like, quick, we got a cheap place with a kitchen five minutes away from the resort. I'm like, that's awesome. I'd much rather just walk on my room and be there. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, the elk trap right there, eh? It was like 1 a.m. Did you say 42? 42. Yeah. How do you like that Defiant? Love it. Yeah. That's the only bow I wish I would have bought was the Carbon Defiant. Uh, sick of course, definitely a lot nicer than the mountain ops. A lot less hiking. Not as steep hills going up. Longer shots, but a lot better it'll come. And way less hills. First ever Smith game calls pro tip number one. If you just hit the target you're aiming at, you won't have to dig your arrows out of the trees. I think it actually kind of moved. Said anybody can do it. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Helps too. So today is our last day in Utah. We are for fuck's sake, Thomas. So today is our last day in uh, Utah. So today is our last day in Utah. Cut! Thomas. Well, today is our last day in Utah. We're just getting our room packed up and we're gonna spend about half a day on the mountain and head back to the airport. Well, maybe we're not gonna be on the hill for as long as we initially wanted today. We got a flat. I guess we're changing tires. We're not the only ones either. The gentleman here also changing a tire this morning. Now remember kids, for those of you playing at home, make sure before you sign a pro staff agreement with a company that they don't use Advantage rental car. And now we change.
Look at that. There, there's the dirty dog right there. Nice. Yeah. Steven. Tell me your thoughts. How, how are your feelings today? Ah, uh, advantage rent a car in Salt Lake City Airport. Now might be a bad time to ask. Maybe we should ask <laughs> on the way out there. I have the best customer service, I can tell you that. Steven, tell us. Uh, if Smith Game Calls had the same customer service as Advantage Car Rental, what would that mean for Smith Game Calls? Uh, say that one more time. If Smith Game Calls had the same customer service as Advantage Car Rental in Salt Lake City, Utah, would Smith Game Calls still be in business? Well, yeah, it's Smith Game Calls. But I wouldn't do that. Because he's a people person. Just look at that face. All right, we're back rolling again. We've got a donut tire on the car. We're <laughs> headed to the mountain resort again. Only this time a few less hours than we thought we'd get. We're, we're rolling again with no help from those guys at that loony bin where we got this, this car from. So. Once but, again, kids, don't use Smith Game Calls as your booking agent for all of your vacation needs. Okay, hold on. Be safe, Steven. Come on. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Thomas. You stop it. Thomas, stop it. I have a headache. <laughs> all right, guys. You know what? F*** it. <laughs> so if you happen to notice at any point during the rest of the day that Steven's voice is about six or seven octaves higher, um, I may have... <laughs> we were uh, we were making a hard right turn, and uh, I felt the need that we really needed to spool that jet up because it is a uh, high performance machine. And uh, the camera was not rolling, unfortunately. However, what we did see was poor Steven get his baby maker smashed by the bottle and the camera on that hard turn as it slid off the uh, dash. So, so Steven's a little pouty right now. I think we're friends off at this point currently. It's been a rough day. <laughs> Tell me about your feelings right now, Steven. Um, That's about the second things. hardest I've ever been hit in the groin. And it's mostly your fault. <laughs> Steven Smith with Smith Game Calls. What's your pro tip for today? Smith Game Calls, second ever pro tip. Never put the camera on the dash when Thomas is driving because it will <laughs> land on the family jewels. Oh, man. Well, it's officially a wrap. We're about to take off from the mountain for the last time. We're headed to the airport right now. Hopefully we won't have as many troubles coming down as we did. Uh, hopefully we don't have as much trouble going back as we did coming down. Uh -huh.